Greetings, it's Luke from Play here. And this is Paul. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Carmageddon game. That, believe it or not, it's 2016 and there is a new Carmageddon game. Yeah, well, you're saying you. It's, that, yeah, it's, okay. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's effectively a, a, a remake of the original game. Um, well, it's a weird one. It's a remake, but it has got new stuff okay. in it. Uh, it's kind of gameplay-wise very much the same. It's got a lot of the original levels. Um, it's been in alpha on the PC for an age. Yeah, um, a couple of years now, hasn't it? Yeah, I think it was originally meant to come out in like 2013 or 2014. Wasn't or this a crowdfunded like thing originally? Yes, it was. It was originally a Kickstarter, yeah. Okay. So, But yeah, now we know it's coming to PlayStation 4 this year. So I thought I would go and give the game a go on PC and see okay. what it's like because I played it very, very early on. Yeah. Um, it still had like white levels and stuff to the point that I hadn't even put textures in so I wanted to see what it's like now okay. um, whether it's going to be you know something that we should be interested cool. in really. well I, I loved the original as a kid in the same kind of shameful way you like Limp Biscuit and Mortal Kombat 2 <laughs> um, so I've got fond memories of the series so tell me good things um, sorry, <laughs> I can't. This, I, this is going terribly. Yeah, I also I really like Carmageddon. Like it's my, it, I say I always say it's my favourite racer game of all time. Yeah, because, you don't like racing games. Yeah, exactly. And at Carmageddon, you don't have to race. You can just smash into the other cars until they can't move anymore, right. and you win. And that's why I like it. Okay. But <laughs> playing this now. I can sort of sympathise because obviously, like you said, this was a Kickstarter, and the pitch was. This is for people who like the original Carmageddon. We're going to remake it. How you remembered it, you know, nostalgia, etc., mm. etc. Et and they have done that. Yeah, the problem there is the original famously isn't actually a good game. No, it, it handles awfully, yeah. like really, really badly. And I didn't care about that that much when I was younger. Well, you don't, and do it was you? kind it's, of part of the fun. It's the like, spectacle of the thing. It's the the kind of edginess of it. Again, it ties into that. Like what I said before, the Limp Biscuit Mortal Kombat 2 thing, it's, it's that edge that appeals to kind of kids. You know, you're in a car running people over, smashing up other cars. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It's, it's different to other things. Yeah, but unfortunately that doesn't really cut it anymore. And I think the problem is as well, they've put new modes in. That, right. um, so the original Carmageddon was just basically the, the standard mode, which mm -hmm. is you can race if you want. You can um, destroy all the other cars, or you can kill every pedestrian in the level. And doing any of those things makes you win. Um, uh, they've done what they did in sort of Carmageddon 2 onwards, in terms of putting in other game modes. So right. there's one which is a race. No. There's, um, yeah, there's one which is a, a really good mode in, in, in the idea of it, which is um, like there's one checkpoint on the map. Everyone has to get to it. When someone gets to it, another checkpoint appears. They put them in like weird places, like up a big ramp, so okay. that everyone ends up crashing all over the place, like s s flying in the air. Um, but going back to the fact that it just controls awfully, like that just it just doesn't work because you every you're just struggling to get anywhere. Yeah. And plus, the problem with that mode is a random checkpoint will appear right next to somebody, so <laughs> they'll get there. Obviously, it's not really there's, there's, it just doesn't work in right. that competitive sense. Yeah. So, it, I'm really disappointed. Uh, it's it's a real shame. I think if they just could have tweaked the way the cars handle a little bit, so yeah. that they're more controllable, it could have been really fun. I mean, is it different between different cars, or any better than other ones? Um, I mean, the the cars do feel a little bit different. Same in the in the um older one mm -hmm. but it's still it's just the basis of the handling right. it's just all over the place um, it, credit to them in terms of they said it's going to be exactly like the old one it does feel it handles exactly like the old one but to me I may as well just play the old one yeah I don't I mean or, or better yet now we're in a post burnout world play burnout yeah aside from running people over which is neither here nor there really it adds very little in a gameplay sense yeah like the the destruction combat racing type of gameplay absolutely perfected by Criterion like there are two or three near perfect burnout games if you want that kind of experience yeah I just I just want to stress like I haven't this isn't like a comprehensive review this no. is just me giving it a shot and seeing I've played a few levels and, and yeah, played a few different modes to see how it is Obviously, we'll give it a chance when it comes to yeah, PS4. Of course. You know, I don't want to write off, but just what I've played of it, I'm just really not impressed. For shame. 